Okay, so this is a basic introduction to Poi. Um, hello, welcome. Um, the reason I made this video is because when I first started out in Poi, there were basically there were no videos or no guides of any kind like detailing the really basic, basic stuff in Poi. Um, so like what Poi to use, how to hold them, etc. Um, so without further ado, here's the basic guide to Poi. Um, first of all, I just want to thank a whole bunch of different people for um, getting me into Poi, for teaching me stuff. Um, I've been spinning for about six, seven months now, so I'm by no means an expert. So don't take anything I say as gospel, because it's not. These are just my observations on my um, first sort of forays into Poi. Um, so thanks very much to um, Nick for teaching me out in Bali. Um, same with Burning Dan, Alien John. Um, Tom Thumb G, who is by far the most insane Poi master type that I've met. He is actually a Jedi. Check out his videos, it's insane. Um, so yeah, these this some of the stuff, um, credit goes to these guys um, for teaching me, so I can pass it on to you people. So, different kinds of Poi. Um, the most basic Poi, um, and ones that I'd recommend using, are these. These are sock poi. Um, they are socks, and I got these for about two pounds in Camden, in London. You can get these pretty much anywhere. They're big stripy socks. They're bouncy. Um, they have wow. they have weights in the end. Um, I have balloons filled with rice. You can have pretty much anything you want. You can have tennis balls. I don't recommend it. You can have water balloons, which I have in some of my other poi. They're really cool. You can have. I don't know, you can have other socks, just get some old socks, roll them up, put them in the end of these, and you've got yourself poi. It's really easy to make, and you can do it in like five minutes. Really cool, um, really recommend it. Um, these have got another little ball of rice in the end, that's just for added weight so that I can kind of chuck it and it sort of does that around the middle, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, basic sock poi. Next thing, oh actually, no, hold on. Um, the cool thing to do with sock poi is have different colours, so that way you can see what's going on when you spin, and you don't get confused when you do things like wraps or weaves or whatever, you can see exactly what your poi are doing and which poi is which, so recommend getting two different colour poi, it's going to help you learn a hell of a lot. Next kind of poi that I have are these, now these are cone poi from homeofpoi.com, um, they are basically sock poi that have been engineered and made better by the geniuses over at Home of Poi. Um, I think they were originally Nick's design, I don't know. Um, and the cool thing about them is they have this rather nifty opening pouch thingy in the end. So you can take out and replace the weights. In my case, they're water balloons. They're nice and squishy. They're really cool. Um, I'll get on to weights later on. Um, rebuild my Poi. Okay. And the other cool thing about them is they have a handle, like that. Um, and that means you can hold them however you like, and you don't have to like grip the sock, you can just kind of stick your fingers through them and hold them like that. Or you can hold them oh, a whole bunch of different ways, I'll get onto that later. But yeah, these are really cool, really recommend getting them, homeofboy.com. Um, they're about £10. And they come over from New Zealand, it's really awesome, I really recommend getting, they'll make your poi experience awesome, so get some please. Next, what to put in your poi. So, as I said, you can put pretty much anything in your poi. I would recommend take a big party balloon, like, you know, happy birthday, your five, or your fifty, or your hundred, whatever. Put some rice in it, or put some water in it, and play with that. You can get, you can use, um, like, I don't know, bags of rice, you can use tennis balls, I really, 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 really wouldn't recommend it because they're hard, you're going to hit yourself a lot, and you do not want your poi experience to suck, so don't put anything hard in the end of your poi, because, you know, it'll just, it'll not make your life fun, but yeah, these are water balloons, nice and squishy, I hope this doesn't explode, because otherwise I'll be embarrassed, um, not much to say really, it's a balloon, it's got water in, um, fill them up to about that much so you can get it in the palm of your hand and just sort of kind of have your, you can just about close a fist around it. That's roughly the right amount of water to have. Um, any more and it gets too big and cumbersome and it's also too heavy. 
and any lighter and you're going to spend a lot of your time and focus and energy in trying to spin your poi. The beauty of having slightly heavier poi is that they will just sort of spin themselves. Once you give them a bit of momentum, they'll just spin. You don't have to do very much at all. Whereas with lighter poi, so if I use the other end of like my sock poi, which is really light, you have to use so much force to just get them spinning and you can't then focus on your technique, which is what we're here to do. Um, and speaking of technique, the whole like, you're not going to be amazing at poi when you first start, so just accept that. You're going to have like, you're going to hit yourself, you're going to mess up, your poi are going to wrap up, they're going to like tangle, and you're just going to have like, you know, you're going to have lots of mishaps on the way. The whole point of poi is it's a journey. Like when you master like even a basic like plane, like you, you can just spin them side by side, that's awesome. You've learned something new. So it's like, it's the progression of like doing new things and learning new stuff. That's what you should enjoy. Don't think about it as like a goal because it's not, you're always learning stuff. Everybody's always learning new things and don't give up if you don't have like, if you think you can't do something. So if you're trying to learn, like say a three beat weave, if you can't do it, don't just suddenly give up and put your poi down and go off in a huff. Just go back to like, just spinning like a crazy person. Just spin however you like. Um, or spin side by side, or do reels, or do turns, or do something. Play around, and then you kind of go, okay, uh, you know, I feel better, go back to it, and play again. Just keep kind of like, keep mixing it up, don't get stuck on one thing, because that's just frustrating, and, you know, it's gonna, your, your experience is gonna suck if you get frustrated, so don't get frustrated, just be happy, enjoy, I think. Um, and the last thing is, obviously, if you're gonna spin them, you're gonna need to know how to hold them, so, um, is how to hold your poi. This is something I took forever to find on the internet because there are well there are loads and loads of tutorials on how to like spin poi and tricks and like flips and catches and you know tri catchers, three beat weaves, flowers, you know, hybrid stalls, isolations, whatever. Strangely there's no tutorial on how to hold your poi. Which is, you know, kinda of basic and um a lot for a lot of people, especially for me it was like, okay, how the hell do I hold this thing? So, um, most basic way of holding your point is just get a sock and hold it, hold the end of the sock, there you go, that's, that's your point. Um, I've got weights in the end of mine, if you want to achieve a similar effect, just take your sock and just do lots of knots over and over and over and over and over until you get a sort of a ball, and you can hold onto that, like that, yeah, um, and spin them like that way, that works, uh, or you can put your fingers like that, between your fingers, that also works. Um, you can also make handles, so if you like tie off or just get a needle and thread and like stitch the ends of your socks together like this, um, you can have a handle, so you can do a similar kind of thing that I've got with my comb point. So you can have a handle loop for putting your fingers through. Um, with these, so if you actually do get handles, you can hold them in like a number of different ways. You can like stick your hand through it, you can put your thumb through it, do it that way, you can put like one finger or two fingers or whatever. Um, a really cool way of doing it is take the loop, put it, nope, not around your fingers, put it in between your fingers like this, um, so it kind of hangs down, and then take the top and fold it, yeah, inside out, like that, and then put it around your fingers like so, and kind of pull it tight, and there you have a loop, it's, you've got a double finger loop, and your poi are never going to fly out of your hand by accident, which is really cool. So you can just kind of go crazy and you don't have to worry about hitting people with them, um, which is really nice. Um, so that's uh, basics of poi um, and how to kind of get into it. If you want more, please tell me um, and I'll answer questions. Um, and hopefully I'll see you next time.